Well, as this handover of power is discussed, the office of the French president says the government's priority is the security of French nationals in Afghanistan. The German government has meanwhile announced that it's closing its embassy in Kabul amid what it's calling a drastically deteriorating security situation. Well, to give us his take on what's been happening in the Afghan capital this Sunday, we can bring in Afzal Ashraf, who's an assistant professor of politics and international security at Loughborough University in the UK. Thank you very much for being with us here on France 24 at this hour. Uh, first of all, what kind of peace or transition deal do you think the Taliban is looking to carve out here? Well, it seems to be that uh, they've already uh, stipulated their uh, conditions, which appear to be met, and that is that an interim government uh, takes over uh, Kabul, which essentially will uh, involve them, uh, and that they want, I think, through that interim government to negotiate uh, with the international community, particularly with the West, uh, for some form of recognition so that they can um, uh, run the country. Uh, with minimal, uh, if you like, opposition from abroad. Um, so I think that's essentially what they appear to be doing. What they have done, I think, leading up to this, uh, is um, conduct what uh, appears to be a very well thought out, very well planned strategy to take over the country. I knew from uh, uh, reliable Western senior military sources on the ground in Kabul that even as long ago as almost two weeks ago, they had effectively um, uh, controlled the uh, roads in and out of Kabul uh, and were um, uh, restricting flows of fuel and various other things that they wanted to, to get the message into Kabul that they were, uh, if you like, in control of the larger parts of the country. Uh, and, and that is what I think they've successfully sent out to Kabul. And that's one of the reasons why, thankfully, the government has um, avoided bloodshed to, to a large extent, and we might have a largely peaceful takeover of power. The other big question that remains unanswered that perhaps you could help us with is uh, the speed at which the Taliban has seized, of course, these large parts of Afghanistan. Just what has gone wrong for the government and its troops? Uh, um, s several things. One is that um, there has been no leadership. Uh, now, the point that I think we need to debate over the coming months is why, when you have a military force that has been trained by the West for nearly two decades, certainly uh, over a decade and a half, which is larger, which is far better equipped than the Taliban, uh, that that military force has melted away. And that was exactly this, well, very similar situation we had in Iraq in 2014, when ISIS were able to take over cities like Mosul. And the reason for that, and something I've been saying for decades now, is that you can uh, train and equip an army, but you can't give it the moral fiber necessary to kill and die for a cause. And the leadership in Kabul has failed to inspire the soldiers to risk their lives. Uh, and that is the biggest problem uh, we have here. And that's one of the reasons why um, the Taliban have found it easy. Another reason, of course, is that the Taliban are behaving very differently from what Western analysts think they have been, because their Western analysts are largely two decades out of date. This new um, uh, Taliban, which I would call a version two, is a very different version from the original Taliban. They are absorbing uh, a lot of the uh, Hazaras, the, 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 the Uzbeks, the Tajiks. Uh, they're not a Pashtun-only movement. And a lot of the army have actually switched sides. They've given their weapons, but also joined the Taliban. And the primary reason for that is because the government over the last nearly two decades has proven itself to be corrupt and ineffective. And that's why the Taliban have far more popular support than many Western analysts uh, would like to admit or even understand. Okay, Afzal Ashraf, that's sadly all we have time for, but thank you very much for joining us.